what is up everybody pc war room we are back and oh god has it been a week oh and it's monday on top of it so let, let's yeah, let's just dig dive swim think right into it shall we uh you know i'm not going to continue to stay with this guy uh, much longer because it just seems like it, it, it's just one thing after another and a perfect actor is a perfect actor i mean i hate to tell you and i'm not trying to be mean and i'm not trying to you know disrespect the guy but it's just it, it's too much and he actually contradicts himself a couple times in this video and it's also how he words things that there's just way too many red flags and we're not going to watch the whole video i'm zipping through a lot because if you want to see the video i'll link it that's fine most of you guys that's going to comment are already probably part of his channel anyway and that's fine so but again i'm not directly attacking the dude this is just my opinion and it is what it is so anyway you know short thing he is a streamer he does horror games guys he straight up horror games um he lives in kentucky and he literally lives about an hour and 45 minutes away from me so being this close to somebody which you know i don't know him personally i don't know his real address but i know the area so he, he's literally about an hour and 45 minutes away if not close if, if not closer so uh that that's all i'm going to live at the leave on that but the things that you know some of the things that are in this video you know still i'm calling it the way i see it and you guys are feeding and to be honest i think he's just getting he's getting what he wants he's getting everybody that he has got trusted in he you know his call his community and everybody's just like all for it. which you know if it if he wants to better his career go right on ahead you know i've got nothing but love for the dude he's following his passion he's following his dream if that's a problem then you know it's just a problem but anyway let's go into it uh, like i said not going all the way into it he got a hundred thousand dollar or a hundred thousand viewer plaque or sub or whatever the hell it is from youtube um and then this part here which is a gaming channel it absolutely blows me away i know what a lot of you guys subscribed for you guys subscribed because this whole thing is over the top. And I've gotten a lot of questions as to why I filmed it the way I filmed it. I've been, I guess you could say, a filmmaker since my teens. I've been playing with cameras and I turned it into a hobby. And over the years, it's progressively, all my equipment has grown and I've turned into basically a filmmaker. And the re Boom! Right there, ladies and gentlemen. He's basically turned into a filmmaker. Okay. You probably could have worded that, you know, uh, different because of with all the scrutiny you've got going on with the Skinwalker videos, you have turned into a filmmaker. So that basically anybody such as myself that kind of, that kind of disbelieves in what you have kind of solidifies it just a little bit more. You are a filmmaker. You've turned it into a filmmaker, okay? You could have worded that completely different, or you could have left that completely out, for one. Um, he does go on about talking about, you know, adding music into it, B-rolls, montages, you know, whatever you want to talk about there. You know, that's all well and good. If you want to add, you know, montages, music, background music, B-rolls, uh, F-rolls, or you know, diggy rolls, whatever. Uh, don't do it when it's in the middle of evidence. You don't do that. There is no legit ghost 
hunting or paranormal society type group that is literally going to put music in with the evidence unless it's already been seen like twice most paranormal investigators if you hear a sound if you hear you know they will drop the audio of everything else and enhance what they think they heard and then post it and then you can add your music after you have done that after it's already been seen twice if you want to do it a third time drop your music no big deal but don't be adding music and stuff into your evidence simple as that okay so once again filmmaker he has turned into a filmmaker so right there is causing 500 more red flags in my brain uh yeah all right what else are we talk about the people of native american descent have contacted me and wanted to come out here and do rituals <laughs> and the amount of ghost hunting people that have contacted me that want to come out here and check out the situation it's insane but because this is where i live i don't want to bring attention to it i don't want to freak out my neighbors you know we live on a all right again if you are like you said in the beginning of your video or well it wasn't in the, really the beginning it's between here and there you know you did the videos because you wanted to know and you were scared all right if a native american tribe who doesn't talk about skinwalkers is offering to come to your place and do a ritual to help alleviate the problem i'm sorry but if I'm scared and I'm scared for my family. I'm going to be like, hey, come on, guys. Come on in here. Do, your, do what you need to do. I want to sleep. I want my family protected. I want my house protected. All right. I don't give a damn about the neighbors. They don't care anyway. Again, this is Kentucky, guys. You cannot go you know, more than 50 feet in either direction, majority of the time. And you do not hit a street or a subdivision or, you know, just a rural area that does not have, <coughs> oh, excuse me, that does not have retirees, whether they be vets, they're just retired from their job, whatever you you there is no place in kentucky that is safe from that so they don't care if anything they're going to actually ask you what the hell's up and then they're going to just walk off on a street where damn near everybody is a retired person in their older years and when eight o'clock hits, this street turns into a ghost town. Every light in every single house goes off. And it's... That's the same here. By eight o'clock, your streets are pretty much ghost towns. Everybody's in for the day. In uh, my city uh, down where I'm at, by about nine o'clock, 9.30, everything is shut down. I don't care what store it is, everything is shut down. You could literally start watching tumbleweeds go across the parking lots. So, you know, this right here, this is just, to me, to him just talking out his ass. At this point. Uh, let's go back. Because I've bought a couple cellular hunting cams, because a lot of you guys suggested that, and I thought that was a good idea. And, you know, I've been monitoring what's been going on back there. And I've caught some stuff, which I won't show you now. But I decided to go out there and monitor myself. Like I did in the first video and the second video. And right before I headed out, this unbelievably loud explosion. Alright, he is... Uh, I'm going to skip through this a little bit. 
Um, he, he basically said that he heard a gunshot, which this is October. This is the starting point of hunting. You have muzzle loader, you have bow, and then you have rifle, and then I think muzzle loader again. You know, I don't want him. I don't, I don't want him hurt either, just like anybody else. So, <coughs> so I mean that's fine. But at this point now, he is posting content for even more of a PR. I'm sorry, this is starting to become a PR. To boost himself even further. I mean, if you live in Kentucky, then you already know when the hunting season and stuff is starting. So, you know, yeah, I mean, I don't want the guy to get out and get hurt, but, you know, don't be using this crap to, you know, solidify more things. And again, you know, here here is security cam footage. There's the shot, so, you know, yeah, it's probably a 30, 30, 30-06, 30 or, you know, muzzle loader, at least. But, once again, no timestamps. No timestamps. So, yeah, we're, so now we're off of that. Um, let's go eight. And so I went with it. And there's a lot of people out there wanting me to do ghost hunting. As you guys know, I live in Kentucky. And this place is riddled, absolutely riddled with haunted places. We've got Bobby Mackey's. We've got Waverly Hills. We've got the Hillbilly Beast. And it just goes on and on and on. I mean, all right. He's not, he's not, no, he's not lying about none of that. We do have that stuff here. Uh, we have had people like Ghost Adventures. Uh, they've been actually here in my town. Um, you know, most of your your celebrity ghost hunters have actually been in or around the Kentucky area, Lexington, Louisville, Frankfurt. Things are things around that nature. So I mean, he's not lying about you know that. But my thing about him being a ghost hunter. Look, if that's what you want to do, you know, congratulations, you know, props, do what you need to do. I mean, do you, boo. That's all I can say. Do you, boo, boo. But, be, but you best be doing your research before you start going into ghost hunting. Because one, one messed up, one messed up thing that you do you can terrorize your family for life. You can scar them for life, including yourself. So, you know, if that said, you know, just don't play with a Ouija board, for one. <coughs> oh, something stuck in my throat. Um, but, yeah, just don't play with a Ouija board, but then again, you probably will. Uh... Go down to about right here. Comment section. I don't know how long the third Skimwalker video is going to take to come out because there has not been a lot of activity and it's hard for me to keep. There has not been a lot of activity, but yet uh, somewhere through here, he just said that, you know, he's got some new cams up and he's got a lot of new footage that he was not going to show us but nine minutes in it's oh well you know the third skinwalker video is coming out but there's just not a lot of the content so basically at this point you contradict you one minute you say you have content the next minute you say you don't so again i'm going with what i just heard I am a filmmaker. Uh, so, either way, you know, everybody is going to believe what they want to believe. If you guys believe in this stuff with him, you know, that's all well and good. But just remember, keep your mind open. That's all I'm asking. 
you know, don't get suckered into a rabbit hole. And then when things come to light, you're going to get pissed off. And then all of a sudden, you're going to go and snap. Because you were lied to, or you find out that it was not real, or you find out this or that. Just keep, the only thing I'm saying, guys, is just keep an open mind that, you know, this could just be a PR stunt. And to be honest, in my opinion, he has literally solidified that in my eyes. He's using it as a PR stunt. But anyway, all right, that's, that's it for the day. And like I said, drop your comments below. Tell me what you think. Again, you know, it is what it is. So I'll let you guys go. You guys have a good one.